Hi, glad you could join us today. We're going to be talking about ordinary least squares regression. Now, once you've described this relationship between two variables, perhaps you've used a scatter plot or Pearson's linear correlation coefficient, you want to find a line that best describes this relationship. And we're going to talk about that today using ordinary least squares regression, or OLS, as it's sometimes referred to as. Now, what we're going to be using today is a simple linear model. We're just going to be talking about the basic linear equation or line of best fit that we're going to look at and fit through our data. So let's look at our first slide. Now, in this slide, we see the ordinary least squares regression equation. Y is equal to beta 1x plus beta naught. Beta 1 is the slope of the regression line the change in y over the change in x. Beta naught is the y-intercept of the least squares regression line. This is where the model crosses the y-axis when x equals 0. Now, ordinary least squares is, is very cool. It works in a great way by minimizing the sum of the squared residuals. And what this means is that it looks at the difference between the observed y values and the predicted y values. And it tries to make that difference as small as possible. This is how it gets the best fitting line. Now, oftentimes, we use technology to help us compute the slope and intercept for our regression line. But if you don't have that available, you can use shortcut equations and five basic descriptive statistics to come up with a regression line. Let's look at these shortcut equations. Beta 1, the slope, is equal to r, the linear correlation coefficient, times the standard deviation of y divided by the standard deviation of x. Beta naught, the y-intercept, is equal to the mean of y minus the slope times the mean of x. So once we have these shortcut equations, we can then find our regression line. So let's look at some real data. This slide is a scatter plot of the number of boats as the explanatory variable and the number of manatee deaths as the response variable. Down in Florida, they were struggling with why the manatee population was decreasing. And so a biologist collected information on a number of variables, and he plotted number of boats against number of manatee deaths. And he came up with this relationship that we see on the slide. What you see on the slide is a positive relationship between x and y. As the number of boats increase, the number of manatee deaths increase. So let's go through the calculations to come up with a regression equation by hand using these shortcut equations. So let's go over to the document camera. We have five basic descriptive statistics. We have the linear correlation coefficient, which is equal to 0.922. The mean of x and the mean of y the standard deviation of x and the standard deviation of y. Now, the linear correlation coefficient supports what we saw on the scatter plot, a strong positive linear relationship. So let's go through the computations for first the slope, beta 1. So this is equal to the linear correlation coefficient, 0.922 16.05 divided by 6.51. That gives us a slope of 2.273. Once we have the slope, we can compute the y-intercept. This is equal to the mean of y, 55. 0.80 minus the slope 2.273 times x bar 74.10. This gives us an intercept of negative 1.0. 
112.63. Now we have our slope and intercept. We can put these together in a regression line so that we can then use x to predict y. Use the number of boats to predict manatee death. So let's do that now. y hat, our predicted response variable, is going to be equal to 2.273 times x minus 112.63. This is our regression line. What this is telling us is that if we look at the slope, for each one unit increase in x, the increase in the number of boats, we see an increase of 2.273 in manatee deaths. This is what slope tells us. For every one unit increase change in x, what is the change in y? And this is what we see with our slope. So let's look at the next slide where I've put the regression line on the scatter plot. You can see this ordinary least squares regression line, or line of best fit, overlaid on the scatter plot of boats and manatee deaths. You can see that in this respect, it comes very close to many of the points. Now once we have this regression line, we need some form of quantitative measure to help us perhaps say how good does our model do? Because we have a model, but we don't know how good it is. So we need some quantitative measure of the explanatory power of our model. And that's where the coefficient of determination comes in. R square is telling us the percent variation in y that is explained by this regression equation. It's the ratio of the explained variation over the total variation. Now as you look back at the slide, this regression line has an R-square of 0.85. What this is telling us is that 85% of the variation in Y, 85% of the variation in manatee deaths is explained by the number of boats. This is a very strong relationship between boats and manatee deaths. And our regression equation is doing a very good job explaining the number of manatee deaths. I hope this discussion today has helped you to understand better ordinary least squares regression. Thanks for joining me today, and have a nice day.